Hi everyone, my name is Robin Speziali and I'm the national best-selling author of a book called Market Masters. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, one of the world's best investors. Um, he's no longer with us, but his name is John Templeton. And uh, we'll be discussing John Templeton's 16 rules for investment success that he left with the um, investing world before he passed away. And what you can do if you go on Google, you can type in um, John Templeton's 16 rules for investment success. And uh, one of the first links you'll see is one to um, franklintempleton.com. And they've actually posted a PDF there. Um, but you know, before we get into Templeton, the, the reason why I became enthralled by him, it was actually um, through a, a article on, um, on Business Week um, that was actually quoted somewhere else and which led me to that article. And this is what Business Week said. It said, in 1939, when World War II began in Europe, the 26-year-old investor, John Templeton, borrowed $10,000 and bought 100 shares each in 104 companies that were selling at $1 a share or less, including 34 in bankruptcy. A few years later, he made large profits on 100 of the companies. Four turned out to be worthless, only four. And he amassed a lot of wealth that way. And, um, you know, you can definitely tell from, uh, you know, this, this little snippet in Business Week that John Templeton was a contrarian, right? He was um, buying these equities when there was lots of fear, when there was blood on the streets. Um, and he, he profited once um, times got better, um, once the war ended, once there was a huge uh, post-war boom. It's almost as if, um, you know, he, he envisioned that, but it's, it's, it's again, his own hindsight, but he just, he just remained optimistic when others were definitely not optimistic. And let's get in now to John Templeton's 16 rules for investment success. So they're not in rank order, but here's one through 16. Number one, Templeton says, invest for maximum total real after inflation return. Number two, invest, don't trade or speculate. Number three, Remain flexible and open-minded about types of investments. Number four, buy low. Number five, when buying stocks, search for bargains among quality stocks. Number six, buy value, not market trends or the economic outlook. Out, <coughs> excuse me, outlook. Number seven, diversify. In stocks and bonds, as in much else, there's safety in numbers. Number eight, do your homework or hire wise experts to help you. Number nine, aggressively monitor your investments. Number 10, don't panic. Number 11, learn from your mistakes. Principle 12, begin with a prayer. Um, Templeton was a very religious man, and that's an aside. Number 13, outperforming the market is a difficult task. 14, an investor who has all the answers doesn't even understand all the questions. 15, there's no free lunch, and finally, Number 16, to not be too fearful or negative too often. And so these 16 rules for investment success by John Templeton, like they're really simple. Um, you really have to read into them and to absorb them into your own investment philosophy. And it really takes experience. Like it takes years of experience, 30 plus years to even write something so succinct um, on paper. It, it's it, a lot of these seem like no brainers now. Uh, for example, learn from your mistakes, don't panic, um, you know, like buy value, don't be fearful or negative too often. Like a lot of these points seem like common sense, but they, they really start to, um, you know, become you. Um, once you once you violate a lot of these, um, you will learn from them and uh, you will pro prosper as a do-it-yourself investor. So I hope this helped, guys. Um, if you have any questions about uh, these 16 rules, by Johnny, uh, John Templeton, let me know, r.speziali at gmail.com, or check out my website um, for more on investing, robinspeziali.com. Thanks, guys. Happy investing.